Hello friends welcome to my channel. We are trying to stream the information I can find about cars for you. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Enjoy watching. Think of the Wrangler 4Z as Jeep's Wrangler Plus offering. It's everything we love about the Wrangler. Unstoppable off-road capability and sweetheart styling. Plus usable electric range and stronger efficiency numbers. That's because the Wrangler 4Z represented Jeep's first plug-in hybrid vehicle when it was released for the 2021 model year. Since then, it's been followed by the Grand Cherokee 4Z. Although the Wrangler 4Z is the only plug-in hybrid off-roader on the market, other than the Grand Cherokee, it may be compared with other compact plug-in hybrid SUVs including the Toyota RAV4 Prime, Hyundai Tucson, and Ford Escape. Paint options. Earl replaces Snazberry, and Rain is a new limited edition color new Wrangler decal with American flag on the front fender. Dismiss any outdated notions of wimpy hybrids, as the Wrangler 4Z is one of the best ways to drive Jeep's off-road icon. The electric torque of Jeep's plug-in hybrid powertrain provides welcome low-end grunt, and the 4Z has the same outstanding approach angles and axle articulation as its conventionally powered sibling. We also found the extra low mounted battery weight makes the 4Z feel more stable than a standard Wrangler. Much of what will draw buyers to the 4Z is its 49 MPGE fuel economy rating, but that number will only be achievable to buyers who are able to charge nightly. When the battery is dead, efficiency doesn't impress. The hybrid integration isn't perfect, either, and brake feel can falter at low speeds. This is a worthwhile first attempt at a hybrid from Jeep, but really we're waiting for the fully electric version. The 4Z augments the standard Wrangler's available 2.0-liter turbo i4 and 8-speed automatic with two electric motors and a 17kWh battery. Total system output amounts to 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, which means this is the most powerful Wrangler unless you plan to shell out for the Rubicon 392. We tested the plug-in achieving 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds. As for efficiency, on gas and electric power together the Wrangler 4Z is rated at 49 mpge combined and it can travel up to 22 miles on electric power alone. Once those electrons have been expended, though, efficiency drops to just 20 mpg combined. As such, the 4Z only makes sense if you have a place to charge, as the standard four-cylinder Wrangler achieves 22 to 23 mpg combined. The Jeep Wrangler wears a three-star rollover rating from the NHTSA and in IIHS testing. It earns some good and some marginal crashworthiness scores alongside marginal and poor headlight ratings. In one IIHS crash test, a non-plug-in Wrangler flipped over. As for active safety features, you'll have to pony up. Blind spot monitoring plus front and rear parking sensors are available in one package while adaptive cruise and automatic emergency braking are bundled in another. Range-topping high-altitude models include the first package but not the second. The 4Z loses a bit of space compared to a conventional gas Wrangler. Differences in the cabin are minor. Buyers are more likely to notice the discrepancy in cargo space. A Toyota RAV4 Prime has more space behind the rear seats. Otherwise, though, the unlikely pairing are pretty evenly matched. Regardless of trim, the 4Z features an 8.4-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. All models also receive Alpine Premium Audio. If you go for the Rubicon or high altitude, you can add a forward-facing trail camera. Sure, there are more advanced electric off-roaders at this point. Remember that 7,000-mile off-road trip we took in the Rivian R1T? But there's something novel about silently tackling the trail looking over the boxy hood of a Wrangler. You can even put the powertrain in e-save mode on the way to the rough stuff so you can put the 4Z's electric range to use away from pavement. The motor alone is only good for 134 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque, but the smooth, instant power delivery will easily carry you over most obstacles.
To celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Rubicon, Jeep is introducing a special edition 4Z. This model gains a half inch suspension lift for increased ground clearance, 11.2 inches, and water fording capabilities. Steel bumpers, triple hoop grille guard, integrated off road camera, 33 inch all terrain tires, and beadlock capable wheels are also part of the upgrade. Topping it all off is a unique grille design, as well as a red and black leather interior and special shifter medallion. For most buyers, the entry-level Wrangler 4Z Sahara will be plenty capable. The Rubicon's heavy, noisy all-terrain tires and disconnecting front anti-roll bar won't be necessary unless you regularly crawl over large rocks, and the high altitude is mostly just an appearance package.